Hello everyone. Welcome back to Next Step Immigration. We trust you're doing great today. Individuals with existing or prospective visas, expatriates, as well as organizations that require access to in-demand professionals, are impacted by the considerable changes to the present Australian immigration regulations. Understanding the modifications and new process requirements is essential to taking advantage of the reform's potential and promoting compliance. With a particular emphasis on South Australia and New South Wales, where sponsorship programs for 491 and 190 visas have only recently been launched, we'll talk about the most recent Australian visa modifications in this video. We'll look at the adjustments and possibilities that these revisions provide prospective migrants. South Australia and New South Wales Skilled Visa Updates Recent important improvements have been brought about by Australian immigration revisions for the South Australian and New South Wales skilled migration programs. For sponsored 491 and 190 visas, these states have opened their doors, presenting opportunities for prospective immigrants. The primary standards for New South Wales sponsorship have generally not changed. However, one important modification is how expressions of interest are prioritized. In some professions, New South Wales has chosen to provide priority during invitation rounds to professions in important industries including infrastructure, education, healthcare, and ICT. It's interesting to note that New South Wales has already started sending out invites for Visa 190, while 491 invitations will be sent out after the clearance of outstanding applications. On the other hand, there have been major revisions to South Australia's sponsorship scheme, especially with regard to onshore candidates. Prior to the elimination of this benefit, some South Australian graduates were qualified for exemptions from the work experience requirement. All candidates, including recent graduates, must now have at least six months of work experience in their chosen professions or closely related sectors in order to be considered. Additionally, the offshore regional stream, which formerly offered a route for 491 visas for those living and working in remote regions of South Australia, has been discontinued. Numerous candidates who had made substantial efforts to move to these regional areas are now in a state of disappointment as a result of this decision, since they no longer have a feasible path to permanent residency. Registration of Interest System a Registration of Interest, or ROI system identical to that of Victoria has been implemented in South Australia and New South Wales. Due to the restricted number of positions available to offshore candidates under this method, the invitation process becomes more unclear. Health and Medical Sciences, Trades and Construction, Early Childhood and Education, Digital Technology, Food and Agribusiness, Creative Industries, Tourism and hospitality are the particular target sectors that South Australia will give priority for invites. The Working in South Australia stream has also been updated, keeping the same key industries but additionally including resources and energy. Applicants for this stream must now have lived in South Australia for 12 months and worked 30 hours per week in their chosen occupation, or a sector that is closely related for at least 6 months. Employment White Paper Migration Australia has highlighted a number of policies that the Albanian government would put into place to help about 3 million individuals who desire employment or increased hours of work. They include making a temporary measure permanent so that seniors may earn more, easing the transition for welfare recipients from receiving benefits to working, and reducing the disadvantage that many unemployed people experience. The government declares its commitment to full employment in the white paper, which it defines as everyone who wants a job being able to find one without having to search for one for too long. Prospective immigrants have both opportunities and challenges as a result of Australian immigration, notably in New South Wales and South Australia. Uncertainty is further increased by the registration of interest procedure, particularly for candidates from outside Australia. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching. Good luck.